This is the front of the transmission input shaft on a 2008 Subaru Legacy manual transmission. As you can see right here is a parting line on this transmission. It, uh, unlike most transmissions which have openings in the case to get into the case to work on the transmission, this one splits, the whole case splits in half lengthwise, more like a transmission on a motorcycle. Um, and the section of the snout that the throwout bearing slides on has broke off. It's made out of aluminum. And being as though it's in two halves, because the transmission splits in two halves, it makes it a very weak piece. And aluminum makes it somewhat weak also. So we're going to try to do a repair here. What I'm going to do is weld the two halves together for about a half an inch on the end here so that it gives it more rigidity. Then I'm going to stand this transmission up on end and fill this lower section with water so that the seal in here does not get burned up. I'm going to bevel this edge and I'm going to weld this back in place. So as you can see here, I have V'd out both sides so that I can get pretty close to 100% penetration for about a half an inch on the nose of this that later on if they need to repair this transmission and split the two halves they will have to grind that out in order to be able to split it but it will give the snout much more rigidity and much more strength because it will be basically one piece instead of two section halves. So now by looking at that you can see that I have beveled it back but not too much that I end up with a bunch of uh, weld on the inside when I weld it. I should have just about 100% penetration but it should be uh, good. And you can see that the seam is welded here and the seam is welded here for about a half an inch on each side all cleaned up on the inside and ready to go back in. So there's the transmission secure to my bench so that I can work on it in the upright position so that I can put water in the inside of the bell housing the uh, seal that is in there the input shaft seal in the transmission is in at least three quarters of an inch so it's going to be back beyond 
where the water is, so the water will dissipate the heat and keep from ruining the seal that's inside of there. So I have everything pretty much prepared. The water is in there. The sleeve is sitting where it's supposed to be. You can see it's not perfectly straight right now, but it's fairly close. I figured out I have to put my first tack on this corner in order for it to pull in this direction. And then I'm gonna work from side to side and corner to corner without welding too much in one spot. That way it stays straight and even. You gotta keep an eye on your water too to make sure that it doesn't boil away more water. And your water needs to stay semi-cool, which mine is as you can see. So the only area that I'm heating up is the area that I'm welding. Ground is close to where I'm welding, keeping all the heat away from the seal. And I'm not going to weld the seam to the case, that way 
if they ever have to take this back apart, they just have to grind out this section on both sides, upper and lower, and they can take it apart, disassemble it. steam coming off of the water that's boiling me away. It's fogging up my shield. Just barely warm.
Last section. Come on, Lord. Hang in there with me. Okay, so now it's pretty much completed other than inspecting it, verifying what I got, cleaning it up, taking any high spots down. I'll bring you in a little closer here. Now you can see that I did not interfere with the parting lines. So all, as I said, they have to grind out is this little section up here. I'm going to have to take some of the weld off, but I don't want to take too much off. Same parting line on the opposite side looks good. Weld it all the way around. 